What's up guys, welcome back, Patreon request today from Dave over on Patreon, the Dead by Daylight fan. So, <clears throat> the Trapper, this is the one I picked, Dave. Um, big guy with a big bloody sword and a creepy mask. And what is going on with his mouth? Is that a tongue? Anyway. <laughs> uh, landscape page, use a pencil eraser and hit pause if I go too fast. So we start with his eyes, right? So he's just got these black holes and a mask, right? <clears throat> Set a point to my page about here. Come up. And we'll just put his head up in the top half, right? <clears throat> so, yeah, mask with loads of like cracks and weird stuff going on. So we'll go just this sort of black hole. So in here, so start with a card line like that. And then we'll go underneath in here. <clears throat> If you want, you can draw the eyes inside, but I think it's creepier if they're just black. We'll go with just black darkness. Right, so his head uh, is slightly turned, right? But we've got all these kind of cracks, right, going up. This one goes real long. Maybe we can, like, darken it up maybe a bit. There's absolutely loads of these. radiating out right from the eye and across the nose and stuff and it's kind of made of wood so it's all textured and stuff all here and then there's some that come down some are darker than others thicker than others and so that's what we're kind of dealing with so the other eye over here it's smaller because we're in sort of three-quarter pose right but you do basically a curved line again <clears throat> and they're quite far apart and then this comes underneath so color it in black then you can start adding all sorts of textures and stuff around some cracks and things So he's got like a little bit of a nose, but it's kind of off to the side and it's kind of, it's kind of like just, it's like another, well, there's another crack here, right? And I'm going to put the nose kind of just a light sort of suggestion of it, sort of here, right? Kind of that kind of thing. And maybe like some cracks and stuff just going down the side of it. So the cracks will kind of show the shape for it, you know? And then these go straight down here. Right, so then his mouth, so we've got this kind of gnarly sort of creepy sort of mouth here. So there's all cracks in this as well. Right, so it kind of like goes joins up his up to the side of his face here. This side as well kind of goes up around here. And you got all these teeth that stick down, right? So just sharp, spiky teeth. Some can be smaller than others. Right, that kind of thing. And there's like another bump here. And I think, yeah, we can see like the inside of it there. And then the inside going down that way. And again, you want to add like cracks and... Textures kind of like that. Okay, so the bottom of his jaw, right? So it comes down, it's like broken in the middle. It looks like a broken jawbone or something. Right, so there's like a gap here. Right, so there's like a gap on this side. And this goes up around like his ear, or the, is that chains or something? So that goes up that way. 
there's all teeth in here as well so and we can kind of see inside the mouth right so you know, we'll draw the teeth right and you can see the bottoms of them Again, you gotta add textures on all these as well. You can do teeth on the other side. And inside, can we see a tongue, right? So there's this weird gray mass. I don't know if it's his tongue, but let's just assume it's his tongue. It's just got all these sort of bumps and stuff inside, right? It's just gray. Right, like that. And then we can kind of see his chin or something here. So and the rest of the mask, right? So we got these like lines that go up the side. I think there's chain. So this goes up and then there's like an inside area, right? There's all these bumps and holes and things. Okay, so there's like a, a wire that comes out here, goes up under here. And then there's a wire in here. Right, and this is like all in shadow. It's all dark inside, so we've got to shadow it up. Something like that, anyway. And then... Textures there. So on the other side, right, we can see some more wires and things coming out of his head, like here. stuff top of his head and his mask just kind of bumps around here and then you got to add more sort of cracks and textures all going up So, so that's like his head pretty much I think so his body right sorry now just moving images around okay so like a real muscly kind of dude, right? <clears throat> and he looks like he's got scars and stuff all over. So say like, okay, so like neck muscle lines going this way, right? And then like the center line for his chest, his body's kind of turned away from us a little bit. So it's not like right underneath the chin. It's kind of there. Okay, and that means top of his chest muscle goes that way. Maybe Adam's apple or something there. And then his, so he's real muscly, right? So we got like, like neck muscle there. And 
and then top of his trapezius here. He's got these dungarees on with all these straps and stuff coming across his body, right? So, what to do? So, this is a big strap here, right? So, I'm coming down across his shoulder, right? Starting like this. Then it comes down the side. And then we've got a big buckle here, just a square buckle. this just edges to it like that right and this comes across his chest and down this way there's all these stitching and stuff on it and then metal buckles coming out from the ends of them where they're clipped on and another sort of metal part here So this thing is coming all the way down his chest. So we've got an inside line with a buckle. Remember if I go too fast, I just hit pause. And then this here, buckle. Then another one and another strap as well. So this comes down and then strap goes down this way along his clothing just there. Right? And you've got all these stitches the inside for this buckle there and then the dungarees seem to just go like this way and then down across his body and then across this buckle here we've more straps coming down this side i'll just finish his shoulder on this side so like comes out like so his tricep going out that that way we'll make him sort of more muscly than he than he is right so his chest goes there and like we'll go down into here and then like muscle fiber lines and then chest comes down that way he's like a blob of like scars and stuff so but we gotta like define his muscles a bit more so like muscle that way right we'll make him like crazy muscly And then bicep, sort of going here. And then what we can see of ribs, but not much. Okay. Okay, so then, like his, so the other half of his body is like half the size, right? So, because he's in three quarter pose, you can, this side is two quarters, so. So say it's called three quarter pose because you can only see three quarters of his body. So one quarter is missing. So you have one, two, three. So the other shoulder would be out here somewhere. So this is about half the size of this, this space from the center of his chest to the shoulder, okay? So we'll fill in the stuff inside here. So we got the, this box for the dungarees like that, and this has like loads of stitching and all that kind of stuff. Right. right, and like lots of stitching going that way, down here even. And then there's more straps, okay, so. So, and if you go over anything, you can just erase with your eraser because you should be drawing this in pencil first anyway. <clears throat> right, and then there's like an X sort of here, and then we got like an edge line, and some stitching and stuff there. And then this another strap here. Right, so like lines and stitching and stuff. These hooks go around the back of his mask, right? So we've got these circular sort of things here, right? With edge lines. 
and then this goes like up the back of his mask and the other side will come down right so you do this again here just like a circle coming out from around and then there's like an inside section like that and then this goes up behind that one I don't know what these are to be honest they're just these like metal pipes that hang down from around the back of his neck another line there okay so his trapezius will kind of come down from his neck on this side here and then the shoulder sort of goes out to that line so you see again one two three one two three three quarters so you could say thirds you know one two three but that's roughly the idea when a body is turned away okay so then we can see like his chest going this way chest muscle right again sort of defined sort of muscles here and then like his rib cage like that and then we'll have like shoulder muscles going that way And then bicep going down here, tricep off there. Wait, that should be wider. This should be way wider. So that's a, <laughs> that arm is way too skinny. So I'm going to go, where would it be? Down here even. Yeah, that could be like a vein. See how we can change mistakes. I'll make this a vein. <laughs> Oops. So there. He also has these like big scars and I'll, I'll draw some of those in, but you can do more if you want. Yeah, that's better arm anyway. Okay, so then his forearm comes up this way. All right, it's kind of just holding his sword, right? So, or his, well, his sword, I guess. So you can just see like the bumps for the bottom of the hand and the thumb. The thumb will go out and disappear behind the fingers. So the thumb goes out this way and then in there. So hands are always tricky, take your time. Right, you can see like forearm lines and scars and stuff. <clears throat> right, so the hand goes in behind his sort of sword thing, right? But I, um, yeah, so it kind of goes here, right? So we got like this square end sort of, it looks like duct tape or something. It's kind of bumpy and then we've got like some texture lines on it like an end line here so it's kind of like this wrinkly sort of stuff like that right so then his hand so it goes his hand will go like up in behind here and then we start with the knuckles one two three and a fourth there so that's the fist coming around it and then we go we'll go little finger first one two so the, all the fingers coming around so I change direction when I hit a knuckle and you've got like two knuckles on your fingers so you go one two one, one, knuckle, two knuckle, and then down, okay? And I don't think he, does he have fingernails? It's hard to make out because he's, that finger's a bit weird. There's not a lot of knuckle lines, but there's a lot of sort of wrinkles and blood and stuff. So another finger here, 
this is the ring finger it's always the longest and then the index just will go in behind the ring right so then this blade of his so this will go it's quite strange it goes up down there's a crack taken out of it here it goes out behind his head and then the other side goes down but there's something that comes off of it here it goes out and behind his shoulder something else behind his shoulder there these characters are always complicated lots of detail goes into them and then you got something that goes up this way up the middle of it it's like the spine of it or something another sort of line there and then this will have like cracks and stuff blood splatters and stuff if you want and then there's another one of those pipes like so and this goes down here So, then the sword just comes out from the back of his head. So it's kind of like just sticking out this way. It's, it's quite unusual. It looks just like a piece of metal. Just attached, like welded roughly on. lines and textures and stuff and another spike down here and so and then if you want you know thickening up some lines increasing the line weights sometimes can help you know smooth things up and I'll just do that quickly now Okay, I think that'll do. The Trapper from Dead by Daylight. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.